Welcome back, and it's time for what's last on our list. And KG, there's a new kind of fatigue. Oh, so many fatigues, pandemic fatigue, inflation fatigue, election fatigue. I personally suffer from fatigue fatigue. <laughs> no, I'm talking about tip fatigue. Huh, okay, so people are tired of tipping. Please explain. Okay, well, back in the day, the rule generally was you tip a server 15% for right. solid table mm -hmm. service, maybe 20% for exemplary service, and you know, a few bucks to delivery drivers, baggage handlers. Those were the rules. Sure, and that's been the standard. But in fact, the study found that pre-pandemic, the average tip was around 15%. Now, the average is around 18.9%. Now, they call that tip creep. Tip amounts creeping up higher and higher. But that is only half of the issue. It's also all the new places we're having to tip. And that's where tip fatigue comes in. People yes. are seeing tips in places they've never seen them before, like counter service. I mean, if I walk in and buy a cup of coffee to go, do I really have to choose among 20, 22, and 25% tip while you're staring at me? I know the pressure. Okay, here's another example. In the same article, a woman ordered baby formula. I've done that before. And on the payment page, there was a line for a tip online. Okay, KG, I know you were a server for yes. years at Red Robin. She That's was right. plugged. Blah, blah. So on behalf of you and all servers who rely on tips, I'm still going to tip whenever I can. Well, thank you. And for that reason, Jimmy, you did such a great job today. Okay. Wow. A whole dollar. That's Thanks. right. That's me being generous. <laughs> and that's what's last on our list.